Time and time again, I hear about this issue. I've got an Elemental website or any WordPress website and it is slow, it is bloated. Now I have done tons of videos. Go and search for page speed 2022 or whatever the year is, okay? There will be a page speed video. Go and watch it. It shows you the plugins and the settings I use to get optimum performance. And it works, okay? People have come back to me and said this works for them, but you can use whatever you want. But how can you help yourself? Because if you're building a website and, you're, and it's 10, 20 pages long or whatever, and you haven't put consideration into your mobile uh, view, into the layout, the content, the images, WebP, JPEG, whatever, compression, and all of these things, it's going to affect your page speed, even your Google fonts as well. But what I really want to focus on is what should you do to help yourself out? If you've got a website already built, sorry, you're going to have to do the hard work, which is try and unpick and sort things out. And it takes longer. But if you do what I'm going to tell you now from the off, from the get go, you will be fine when you get to the end and you will know exactly what you're expecting rather than let's run page speed insights. <gasps> 40% on the mobile. What's going on now? A lot of you are going to say, well, I go to GT metrics. I get an A. It is really easy to get an A on GT metrics. I'm telling you right now, if you're getting B, C or D, you're doing something quite majorly wrong. And I don't mean to be critical here. Critical? I don't mean to be critical here. What I mean is it's easy to get an A. All right. It's not as um, detailed in how it kind of works out your scoring, especially for the mobile. Page speed insight is much more accurate on the desktop and mobile. You can disagree with me or agree. But if your mobile score is low and it bothers you in terms of performance and how it could affect your Google rankings, you need to follow these steps that I'm going to show you right now. Now then, WordPress, you want to have a fresh WordPress installation, hopefully, because you've not built anything yet. You install your plugins, ideally Elemental, Elemental Pro. I tend to use Auto Optimize WP Fastest Cache. I sometimes use Asset Cleanup if I've got WooCommerce as well. And I'll also have Rank Math. So I'm roughly kind of working with maybe five or six plugins. And I try to keep it as minimal as possible. Right. Once you've done that, you then want to create a new page. Of course, before you do a new page, make sure you've done your WordPress and the elemental settings, the elemental experiments and all of that. Okay. But you want a brand new page, no header. No footer, no nothing, just a blank page, right? Doesn't matter if you do Elemental Canvas or default, just make sure there's no header or footer, which is why we recommend you use Hello. Reduce the bloat. What you then do is you just go over to Heading and you drop in a heading, right? That's it. That is all you're going to do. Just a heading. Roboto, you're not going to change the styling, nothing. That is it. Then you publish and you check your page speed score. In page speed insights or wherever you want to go, you should be hitting a hundred percent. If you're not hitting a hundred percent at this point, you need to double check your WordPress, your elemental settings. Is there anything else in your WordPress website? Because you're just loading a blank page with heading. If you try and check without a heading, page speed insights will throw back an error. There's no content. Of course, there's no content because there's nothing there. But if you put a heading in, you should be getting a hundred percent. Okay, cool. Let's say you've got that. Then you create your heading, not your heading, your header. You go to your templates or however you want to build it and you create your header. Remember, section, drop your column or how many columns you're going to have, then drop your content in. Then once you know what content you're going to have, sort out your margins and your padding and your layout. Once you've done that, you switch to mobile mode. Don't forget mobile mode, okay? You gotta go in for your header. Do your mobile mode and your tablet. Make sure, you know, everything looks great. It's working fine. Things are sized properly. You publish, you come back to this page. You make sure the header is there because you've done it on the entire site. You might as well, just testing it out. You then check your page speed insights again. You check it. If you're not hitting 100 to 99%, you stop. You check that header. What is it? Maybe you've gone and used a special font like Railway, Montserrat, Lato, whatever. These are Google fonts. This is where you should use some HTML code. We've got a video on that. 
or you use Autoptimize or other plugins to stop Google Fonts from loading. If you're using anything except Roboto, expect a hit on your page speed. So now that you know the font you're maybe going to start playing with, and hopefully you've done your homework before anyway, hopefully you've decided what is going to be my primary, secondary, or complementary body fonts, whatever. We did a video on that as well, fontjoy.com. Go and find out what your complementary fonts are. Load them up into custom fonts, right? Then make sure that when you do your header, when you did the, the, uh, the font styling for your navigation menu or whatever you've got, because you might have created a fake navigation menu, you know, homepage, whatever, just to get started. You've done your fonts and all of that. Maybe you've got an icon list or whatever. You're using your custom font. So if I've picked railway, I don't scroll down and pick railway. Make sure right near the top it will say custom font railway. You pick that. You check your heading again. Sorry, the page with the heading. You should be hitting 100 or 99%. Now, I just want to backtrack a bit. You could load up a blank page with a heading, like what I've got, or just a header and hit 80%, 85%. And you're going, I've only got a heading on there. Why has it gone down to 85%? Most likely it will be your server speed. So make a note of that. So if your server speed is kicking off 10, 15%, whatever, knocking you back into the red, make a note of that. Because different times of the day, your server speed does do this, wobble, 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 it happens. So if you do it with a heading, not a header, I keep getting it wrong. If you do it with a header and you're now hitting 90% and you're being told it's due to server speed, let it go. All right, you can purge your site, you can purge your server, but you know what? I bet if you ran it again later on, it's going to be a higher score. In fact, I'll give you a tip. When I'm checking my page speed score, I open the page speed insights window six times, right? I open it six times and I will run it. I will put in my URL and run it. I wait 10 seconds, run another one, wait 10 seconds, run another one. So in 60 seconds, one minute, I've got it running six times. And then I check the score and there's always a little bit of a wobble. But I'm looking for the highest scores. What's the average I'm hitting? What's the benchmark? So check your scores. Once your heading is in, or your header, and you're now hitting 100 to 99% on the desktop and the mobile, this is key. I then go on to do my hero banner. I'm using my custom fonts. Maybe I might add in another custom font once I've decided what I'm using. I do my image. I might then change the image for the mobile. This is so important, okay? Elemental gives you the tools here. Look, let me stick in a section. Let's just make this section be, uh, we'll give it a minimum height. I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to background and I am going to pick do, 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 this image here. There we go. We've got an image. Let's just make it center center. Okay. No repeat. That's all I'm going to do on it, by the way. In fact, let's do it cover as well. Let's just do this. There you go. Cover, right? We've got an image with a desktop. But if I flick over to mobile view, can you see there's a gray hash effect there? Why? Because I can click this and I can now pick an alternate sized image. Let's just go for this one because let's pretend I've got a copy of my other image. I've scaled it. I've cropped it to be a certain height. Perfect for the mobile. I can stick that in. So when I'm on the desktop, I'll have a perfectly sized image there and I'll have a smaller cropped whatever image in for my mobile. Again, you get your wording in, you get your images in and stuff like that. You check them. You go and do a page test. Page speed insights. You should still be hitting 99%. You should not be dropping. Because every time you start to add in section upon section, your page speed score will kind of wobble a bit. But when you get to the end, if your website is going below 95% on the mobile, start looking at why. Is it because you added in a video, a slider, a carousel? Okay, that's probably going to be why. You then got to decide on, do I want to keep it or do I want to do something different? You make that call, but nothing is a surprise. And when you work with sections where you've improved the margin, the padding, uh, when you go to tablet and mobile, if there's a change in the font size, we use REM or the image size or whatever. You keep duplicating a section as you do a new section. So it brings forth all of the settings. 
and you change the content. Of course you would. When you do a new page, duplicate your home page. Why don't you? And then take bits out, add bits in. You do another page, which is nothing like the first two pages, but I could take this section from that page and copy it there. I'll take this section from another page and copy it there. It's got all the settings in. It's got the fonts in. Help yourself out. Because if your homepage is hitting over 90%, why wouldn't you want to just reuse the sections, but then modify the content and the layout or whatever? This is going to help you get to your website right at the end, whereby nearly every page on there should be over 90%. Isn't that what you really want to be hitting in terms of page speed insights? Not just the homepage, but any other key pages in your website. And if you follow this process where you go through systematically and you check on the homepage each time you add in new sections or components, you will hit a high score. And you don't need to then worry, oh my God, I've got a 20 page website. It looks really bad on mobile and my page speed insight is 40%. If you, and you're going to spend a day or two sorting that out. But if you had done it at the time you built it, it would have been done. Now, this video probably feels like a lecture, and I'm really sorry, but time and time again, when anyone struggles, my question to them will be, did you check at the start? Nope. Did you check at any point on your homepage? Nope. Did you bother doing your mobile before you did the whole page? Nope. I just wanted to get the desktop done. Well, you've made your life a whole lot harder now, because if you had done section one and then the margin and padding on my mobiles are like the, mar the padding to be 15 uh, pixels left and right. So it's not right up against the edge. So every time I duplicate that section, it's got the setting in there for me. Okay. I don't need to duplicate effort. So you can really, really, really help yourself out. Mobile responsiveness and page speed insights. And, you know, if you can save yourselves a day or two on things like that, isn't that better? I mean, how many times have you worked on a website, a big website, and you're just sat there scratching your head? going, why is my homepage so low? There's not much on there. And you're often taking sections out and testing again, and, and, you're, and, and you're going through trial and error. It takes too long. Now, one thing I will mention, though, no matter how brilliant your page is, if you've got Facebook pixels, if you've got Google Tag Manager, if you've got a GDPR or Cookie Consents, if you've got any messenger bots like uh, WhatsApp or anything like the chat bot or whatever, don't be surprised if those four things pull your page speed down. Don't be surprised because it happens. And to be honest, unless you get rid of them, there's not much you can do about that. Cookies, acceptance, pop-ups, whatever they are, okay, are the bane of my life in how they can knock out sometimes 20, 30% on your score. However, you do your homepage and you're hitting over 90% and you're happy on the mobile and the desktop should be way in the 9900s, right? But you're over 90% on the mobile. When you then add in the pixels or whatever else you want to add in, the chat bot, the, the cookies, or all of that, and your score wallops down, don't worry because you know that without them, your score was fine. And that's why you want to keep a note. You keep a note of the scores and what you were before. So if anyone ever challenges you, hey, I went on your website, you're hitting 65%. Yep, because I got duh, 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 right? So you can help yourself out to feel more confident about your website. Understand there are things that will pull you down. But remember, images. I go for WebP. You might not want to go for WebP. I don't care. I go for WebP. Okay, um, custom fonts. Okay. Don't just rely on the Google fonts. Don't go, well, it's in Elementor. Why do I need to load it again? Elementor, WordPress are still pulling it back from Google. Okay. It still happens. Custom load your fonts. You're going to help yourself out massively. Look, I hope these tips help you. I don't mean it to sound so harsh, but I really want you to kind of start changing the way you work in terms of productivity and efficiency to help get your website built properly from the start. You're checking, you're testing, you're moving on, you're smiling. We're all happy. I hope you like, subscribe. Please do share. Stick this on your blog. Share it on social media. I don't mind. You can even embed the video. Do what you want with it. Keep following and I'll see you soon.